Thank you very much, uh, Chairwoman Landrew and, and uh, Ranking Member Sunder Murkowski. Good to be with you here today. I'm pleased uh, to be here along with Senator Heinrich to introduce uh, Esteban Lopez of New Mexico uh, for this committee's consideration as the next commissioner for the Bureau of Reclamation. As we all know, water is a defining issue of today's American West. We're in the midst of a historic drought, the worst drought in half a century in my state. The harsh realities of climate change raise troubling questions. Whether this is a drought or the new normal, sustainable water is crucial. Failure is not an option because it means that our communities may run out of safe drinking water, that our farmers will not be able to provide the food we put on the table, that species that depend on the land and rivers will not be able to thrive, and that our forests will be ravaged more frequently by massive wildfires, and that when the rain does come, our homes are threatened by catastrophic floods. These are great challenges. The Bureau of Reclamation play, plays a pivotal role. The selection of it com its commissioner is not something to be taken lightly. That is why I'm honored to introduce Mr. Lopez today. First and foremost, Esteban is a veteran water manager. For more than two decades, he has been engaged in water issues in government and in the private sector. At the local and state level, as a public utility engineer, as a county manager in Santa Fe, New Mexico, Esteban has always been uh, has always brought a command of policy, a sharp intellect, and deep-rooted desire to resolve problems. Since 2003, Esteban has led the New Mexico Interstate, Interstate Stream Commission. As the executive director and deputy state engineer, <laughs> he has helped direct New Mexico water policy. And let me tell you, water issues in New Mexico aren't easy. Esteban has worked for two different administrations, one Democratic, Governor Bill Richardson, who many of you on this panel know, and one Republican, Governor Susana Martinez, and in one of the most important appointed positions in the state. Very few people can say that. He has shown great ability to work with all comers, to identify complex problems, and to find solutions. One of the words I've heard used to describe Esteban is unflappable. That quality has served him and us well, allowing him to work with diverse interest groups and at times to disagree without being disagreeable. I expect that unflappable will be on display today. Unflappability will be on display today. I regret that New Mexico will be losing the benefit of Esteban's service to the state, but I know he will ably follow in the footsteps of my good friend Mike Connor as the next great commissioner for the Bureau of Reclamation from New Mexico. I look forward to continuing to work with Esteban on the challenges facing our state and the entire West, and I'm very pleased to, to support uh, his confirmation. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. 